Good evening, synth fans. My name is Pocket Spell. I've got an interesting one for you tonight. So the idea for this video came from my buddy Kevin, aka Chordmaster. If you haven't checked out his page, please do so. He's got a ton of great videos on Teenage Engineering gear. He's a great pianist and educator. A lot of great videos. Check it out. Uh, so he he kind of thought, uh, hey. Is there a way to get my projects from the OPZ onto the OPXY? So I've done a little bit of experimenting. Um, I want to keep experimenting in this video to see what we can come up with. But there are some really interesting and exciting interaction between these two. So I'm going to go over to, and, and we're going to do this um, via Bluetooth, actually. So I'm going to. Press this button on the back. Bluetooth mode. Go to my devices. Down to OPZ. Available. I'm going to hit pair. And now they are connected. Notes in. So you can do some configuring here. I think that's fine for now. Let's see which track we're on. We're just going to test it real quick. Yep. So that's working, right? We're just doing MIDI notes right now. I haven't looked into other CTs. Uh, we're just going to stick with notes and clock. I have a little pattern here on the OPZ. I'm going to hit, I'm going to go to a, I'm going to save this so we can come back to it. Start a new track. I haven't done anything to this yet. I've just initialized the project, right? So, and I have this pattern on the OPZ, and actually I'm going to turn the XY off and up to volume up on the Z. So you're just hearing this goofy little pattern coming straight from the OPZ right now. I'm going to turn the volume off on that and up on the XY and check out what happens. Now, it doesn't sound quite the same, but What's really interesting is that it is playing all of the tracks simultaneously, a one to one going from, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Our eight instrument tracks on the OPZ is translating directly to our eight instrument tracks on the OPXY. Um, and that was a pretty mind blowing discovery for myself. Its MIDI configuration is actually. I think it's somewhat different. Um, I'll have to test on my phone to see if this is set to um, MIDI channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That would make sense as to why this is all playing simultaneously. Either way, it's still pretty exciting. So, and we can translate this pattern to here. It just takes a little bit of prep, but check this out. So, I'm going to mute. All our other tracks. Hmm. But were they still playing? See, there is. I, I do get some weirdness. So those should be muted. They might still be playing. Hmm. Okay, well, either way. We're going to start with this kick drum track. So this is what's playing on the on the Z. So to translate that pattern to the OPXY, all I have to do is arm that to record and press play. Now I'm going to stop. And now you'll see it's put that four on the floor right onto the XY. Pretty cool. We're going to go to a second drum track. Now, the way that the OPZ is set up is a little different because you have basically three drum tracks, a sample track. Really, these are all sample tracks, so besides the point. And then four um, kind of like synth, bass and synth tracks. So 
it's a little different from the way the XY wants to be used, which is like two drum tracks and the rest synth, but that's just the way it comes configured in a new project. You really can do anything you want with it. Um, that's what's cool about it. So I'm going to see what kind of drum, what kind of sample pack we have on here right now. So let's see what, so this is our snare. So it's playing this. So that sounds like a snare, right? So what you're hearing when I hit this, you're hearing both the OPZ and the OPXY. So I'm going to turn this channel off on the Z. So now you're only hearing the XY. That's probably fine. So again, we're going to arm to record, play, and there you have it. Now it's interesting, it seems to have added an extra note here. I'm not sure what is up with that. Um, let's ignore that for now. Oh, I know what's happened. This is even better than I thought. When I hit record, it recorded each track one to one all at the same time. With one press of a button, you got all your patterns transferred. Now, this is, sorry, this is just a like pattern one for each instrument, right? We could potentially have additional patterns. We can go to our arrange mode, go to new patterns, and then transfer the next batch. We're just doing one at a time right now, um, but this has in in one. I only had to do that one time, so you know what? I'm gonna hit on. Can I undo? Cannot undo. I don't know about you all, but I get that a lot. Cannot undo. I try to undo something that should be undoable. And uh, it says cannot undo. I don't know what where it draws the line between can and cannot undo. But oftentimes for me, it cannot. Uh, anyway, this is a very cool discovery. I think. Maybe a bunch of you are already aware of it. But so, for example, we I'm going to go all the way down to the chord track. So on the OPZ, we have, um, let me turn everything else off. I could probably just solo that track would be easier. But it's a nice little chord. Let's see how that translates on the X, Y. Okay, that's nice. It's not the same. So if I really want to get a one-to-one, -one, you do have to do the sounds from scratch because obviously we have different, um, these are not the same uh, synth engines or, or samples. So there's some setup to do on the sound design end, but we still got the same chord. Now, if I check the next track, the next instrument track over on the OPZ, this is my ARP track. And here, this is not a plucky instrument, so we should probably, let's try like, okay, so now I'm going to, cool. Let's make it a little pluckier. Sorry for these pops. Deal with the microphone set up better next time. I was just a little excited. Wanted to get this video out. Uh, okay, so there's our there's our ARP. Our lead. How's the lead sounding? So Okay, not particularly inspiring sounding. I didn't do any sound design on OPZ end. This was like a really quick pattern I just busted out just for the sake of this video. Now let's listen on the XY. How are we sounding? So I just want to make sure we're on the right track because I'm kind of going backwards now. So lead 
should be six. Now I think what happened here was I should have set this to a different resolution. Um, that's something else you should check before just instantly copying everything over because if this is at a different resolution from this, it's not going to know that and it's just going to start looping the notes. I mean, this is like close enough for now. Okay, cool. The cool lead down. What's next? Bass. That's not my go to bass engine, but it's kind of a cool sound. Okay, so let me turn this on. Right now you're just hearing the OPXY. And here's something else that's cool. We can do like kind of live tweaking while this plays through on multiple instrument tracks while it's all playing from the OPZ without even transfer. We don't even have to record everything over. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that next, uh, because I'm I'm excited. So I think I think you all get the idea here. The tracks really are transferring one to one. All I'm really having to do is go back and do a little sound design to get it to match. Um, but check this out. Let's clear all these patterns. I'm just gonna go new, new. By the way, if anyone knows a better way to do this. Please let me know. I'm still struggling a little bit with like arranger mode and song building. Now, I don't know why I'm, this is only coming through on one track right now. I don't know why when I did this earlier. It played out through all the tracks, so let me just make sure there's nothing going, nothing weird going on in the mixer. Oh, yeah, these are all new patterns. So I hit play here, nothing's playing because nothing's programmed yet. I'm going to go back to another project where this seems to have been working from. If not, we might have to kind of turn everything off and back on again because it does get a little funny sometimes with the Bluetooth as everything is still also a little bit buggy. Unfortunately, with the XY, I've had a few crashes while trying to do this. Uh, okay, I'm going to think like unnamed eight. That doesn't sound very good. Let's do this one. Ah, I know what was happening. All my tracks were muted here. So I'm getting some weirdness going on. But what's happening is it's playing everything simultaneously. It's almost like when I have this hooked up to my full set of synths and everything's on a different channel, I can kind of tweak everything live while playing a pattern out through the OPZ. This is doing the same thing. All I got to do is set up the right sound on each track and it would play beautifully and I can do live tweaking. I can even do... I'm sorry, this pattern sounds terrible right now, but I can even do punch in effects from the Z. I can probably transpose. Oh, it's been transposing this whole time. Mm, 
maybe I'll clean this up and do another round of like actually good track going from here to here. Uh, but I was just excited to find this, and in case it's useful to any of y'all out there, anyone has like some precious project on the OPZ that they want to hear played out on the OPXY or recorded onto the OPXY, as we saw with a very simple press of a button, uh, this is how you do it. So thanks for tuning in. Keep having fun out there, and uh, I'll see you next time.